Hi everyone, uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, I just wanted to do a, um, a video uh, regarding uh, how I feel, or in my opinion, how we should be handling um, this Christmas season, this Christmas holiday. Um, many of us have family members and loved ones who are not believers and cannot receive the truth. And I don't know if we even, if anyone fully has the truth on, on what the real deal with Christmas is. Um, I know I don't, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share my heart on the matter. Um, a lot of people do, are doing videos and are sharing things. And um, I just wanted to share how I feel. Um, and what I've experienced in my life. And, um, and how I'm. Now, how I hope to go about this Christmas day or um, this holiday season. Um, I really want, um, I'm going to throw a scripture out there, uh, 1 Corinthians 9, 19 through 23. And I, I stand on this, on these verses. I think these are very important scriptures, um, especially for those of us ministering or witnessing to people or to those of us who have many in our lives who are um, not equally yoked or not even believers. Um, 1 Corinthians 9, 19 to 23, I think is a very important scripture to understand. And I'm not making this video because, well, the script, I'm standing on the scripture, this is my ideology. I look back from my experiences when the Lord intervened um, in my life on Christmas Day and I see what the Lord did, and um, I look back on that, and I find that this stuff is indeed true. And um, I know that um, the Father wants us to tell the truth in love, to honor our father and mother and our loved ones and our wives, um, spouses or whatever. And I know, you know, I've heard some people, I'm not going to say names or anything, but I know some people are, have um, have shared testimonies that that they're fighting with their with their non-believing loved ones over Christmas, like they refuse to celebrate and this and that. And um, I really, I just really wanted to share my heart in this matter. So, First Corinthians nine nineteen through twenty three. I'm going to read this. Um, Paul wrote, "For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all." that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews I became a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. To them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without law, as without law, being not without law to God, but under the law to Christ, that I might gain them that are without the law. To the weak, Became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I have made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And this do I for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaking thereof with you. Now this is a really beautiful scripture. I'll leave it in the description box below. And um, I, I don't believe the Father wants us to be... Um, Yes, we are to stand by the truth um, and not back away. But I don't believe we are to beat the truth over people's heads with an iron fist to those who um, cannot receive it. And um, I think we are, and you know, like I've said before, I mean, I think we are to, to leave that door open, open the door for someone to the cross, even if it's just a little bit of truth. Open that door instead of closing it and turning them off from it. Because, you know, Christmas being a pagan holiday or whatever the deal is, I don't know. But, you know, I look back on my experience and, you know, when Christ intervened in my life, um, and it was Christ, because the scriptures tell us nobody has ever seen or heard the voice of the Father, when Christ intervened in my life and I was in complete ignorance and complete sin and complete rebellion, um, he didn't 
say, well, this is my truth, and I I'm sorry, guy, I'm, I'm, you know, I can't meet you where you're at, you know, this is it, get away from me. Um, you know, me, who was like a rebellious type of punk rocker, um, I saw the Lord become a rebellious punk rocker just to plant that seed in my heart because he knew that if I only did know the truth, regardless of my ignorance or whether I was not to receive it at that time, if I only knew the truth, that one day I would serve him with all my heart as fallible and, and um, imperfect as I am. So I, I just wanted to share that and I just want that to be an inspiration to people that um, make peace with our families. Um, honor your loved ones. Meet them where they're at. It doesn't mean you have to compromise what you believe, but saying Merry Christmas to someone who cannot receive the truth or is not on that level, just to, so you could convey to them the love of God, um, I don't think that's too much to ask. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, that's surely not what the Lord did to me when he, he intervened in my life. So, and we are called to be like Christ. And um, he is loving, grace, graceful, gracious, and ever compassionate. Um, more than we can conceive. And, um, you know, I'm ministering to myself here. We should, we should strive to be likewise. We're called to strive to be likewise. So, um, that's my heart in the matter. Um, I hope this blesses you guys and, um, you guys enjoy the holiday, whatever you guys are doing. Um, if you're not doing anything, I, I just recommend, um, you know, get going out to the needy or, um, you know, bring the love of God on the people who, um, don't have that light or may not even know that light. So, um, yeah, God bless you guys. Cause that is true religion. Um, as the Bible says in many, not just in the book of James, but it's all over the place. That is true religion. Um, to take care of the widows and the orphans in their distress and to be unspotted by the world. Um, God bless you guys. Um, just a little add-on. Uh, some people might um, say, well, to be unspotted by the world is to not have anything to do or partake or even saying Merry Christmas to somebody. Um, I don't think that's what being unspotted by the world means. What does it mean to be unspotted by the world? Um, I believe that's a prophetic statement because we know when we are... Um, redeemed in our glorified light bodies, uh, we receive the fruit of our own works and our own doings. And we are to pray and hope that we remain to be without wrinkle or blemish and that our shame, our nakedness does not show. Um, so that's what I think it means to be unspotted by the world. Um, again, repeating the message uh, what 1 Corinthians 9, 19 through 23 states, um, we could certainly tell the truth and still meet people where they're at uh, for, for the sake of gaining people uh, in the kingdom. Uh, because it's not about us. Um, it's not about us, like, how firm I stand in the truth. It's about bringing people into the kingdom, into the truth. Even if it means just opening the door for them. Um instead of just shutting it in their face for our own self-righteousness, you know? So, um, God bless, guys. Enjoy the holiday.